Can I say that? Uh, what we did was nine, well, I think it was the whole month of January, we celebrated like I just got out of school. We didn't do anything. We just had a day off for MLK Day. MLK Day, we usually got the day off. And I usually stayed at home and watched reruns of SpongeBob SquarePants. And that's pretty much all I did. MLK was never a um, big deal in my house. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think MLK Day was such a big deal here. I thought we got it off just like... Um, my other school. There's gonna be a flag ceremony, which will include the whole world. It's all about supporting groups who are underprivileged or treated differently since they are different. It's a bit fascinating actually how he could get so many people together to listen to him and truly really deeply believe in what he Martin Luther King Jr. is like a symbol of equality like throughout the world, toleration of other genders, races, basically anybody who's different. So. And then he risked his life for his cause. And I'm reminded that that, that that still goes on, that whether, whether it's being Mexican or whether it's being black or whether, you know, it's, it's something like that, that there's still racism, there's still, um, uh, segregation, is that what it's called? Yeah. Segregation, there's still... Except the fact that people have just, uh, over the years, lost interest. His message was just trying to prove to people that everybody's human, and that everybody feels pain, and that everybody, that everybody, everybody's the same.